I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is April 27th, 2022. And in this video, I'm going to show off a neat 3 print that I modified in OpenASCAD to convert it into a nice fridge magnet. Okay, so here is the Moai fridge magnet, or Moi. So all I did, you know, I, I kind of put him in angles, so and now he's flat, so I had to cut off some of his back. But it looks pretty good. I think it's a great model to fiddle with, and I'm pretty happy with it. And have you seen from some of my past videos, I like to make powerful magnets. So I can go stick this on the fridge. And I think he looks pretty good. I should probably do some different colors though, but I like it. Okay, first some URLs, then we'll go over the details. So first of all, uh, the original model over here is actually on cults3d.com uh, and there's some cool pictures of it. It was made by uh, Julie, Julian DeCosto. I might be muttering that name, but he's the one who designed it. It looks really cool. Um, now, I didn't download the files from here, but I did download the files from Printable. Someone else uploaded them. I credited it correctly to him. And that's actually where I got them, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're the same file, but just in case there's some difference, this is where I obtained my file uh, to, to edit and tweak. Now, uh, for as, as for the magnet I made, just go up here and you can go download it. It's up on Printables, so there's a link there, and there'll be a link in the show notes. And for those who are interested, I put the G-code already out there on GitHub, so you can go download it, grab it real quick, and I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, and then lastly, these are the magnets I'm using. I like these magnets. They're good, about $240 a piece, uh, but they're, you know, they're really strong. Um, also, I recently found another one, same brand, that comes in a pack of 12 each, so I ordered some of those, so we'll see, we'll see when they get here if they're any better or not. We'll see. Um, I, think they're, I think it's the same one, but it's the same price for 12 so go check that out. And also, this is an affiliate link, so if you purchase through my link, I get two cents back or whatever they give me, so every little bit helps with trying to run a channel. Okay, with that, let's go over the numbers. So the numbers, uh, this took five hours and 34 minutes to print. It took 4.1 cents of electricity, and it weighs, well, here's the kicker, it weighs 0 0.054 kilograms. However, that's with the magnet. Now, you, this magnet weighs 0 0.022 kilograms, so you subtract that, you get 0 0.032 kilograms worth of material, which comes out to 64 cents worth of material alone. But now we have to add the price of the magnet back in, which is $2.40. So all in, $3.09 to print the whole thing with the magnet. And the majority of the cost is the magnet. But it makes for a really cool thing. I really, I really like this a lot. In fact, I've been tempted. I'm going to print some more out, some different colors. It looks kind of really nice on my whiteboard just sticking it up there or on a fridge. I am thinking about maybe making a bigger one, but if I do make a bigger one, like you know, twice the size, I may need to put an additional magnet in there. So if I do that, maybe I'll do a video on that or put out the code for that. Uh, so, you know, there's that. And briefly, we'll go over the OpenSCAD code just to show people what's going on. Now, this is, the, this is the STL file that I grabbed. So up here, if you want to get the bigger one, the smaller one, you can just change the name here and grab it. Uh, it needs to be in the same folder that this file is in. And then here's the magnet I'm using. So those are the actual dimensions. That's the depth that's going to be from the bottom. And also, I did put this in to bifurcate it so you can kind of see it. So if, I, if you set that split view to true, you can kind of see it in half. And that'll kind of show you where the magnet is. And it can kind of show you how far away it is. So for example, if you... Um, if you want it to be less powerful, less magnetic hold onto your fridge, you can change the magnetic depth. So I'll just change it to 1.8, and you'll see that pop up. So the magnet will be further away from the fridge and not as powerful. Or you can get a thinner magnet, in which case, like here's the magnet height. And let's say you got a th thinner magnet, you'd have to measure it and do some test. You know, you made one 1.3 or something like that. So, But this one works out for me. Or it could be, um, these magnets aren't perfect. Uh, the ones I've been ordering is consistent. The ones I've been ordering lately have been pretty consistent, and they've been working with these measurements. But if you get one that's slightly off, you might need to increase the diameter or the height a little bit based on what you have. So it's always a good idea to you know do a test print. Uh, well, there, there's other ways of doing that. But uh, there you go. There, there you are for the tweak. So, but then of course you want to change the split view to false and rerun it, and then you got the whole guy. Boom, boom, boom. But basically, all I am doing, you can see here's that Moai statue rotate and cut. And there's a method down here where I am importing the Moai. 
and I rotate them 70 degrees. So he's rotated 70 degree, degrees, and then I'm sticking them down. So I put them down just a little bit, and that way I get that nice flat, nice flat surface. But I've also have, I have to put a cube underneath it to cut it off. So I have that difference, I'm cutting off of the cube. Simple as that. But you could come down here, and if you didn't like the angle, you could change it from a 70 to a 60, and you get, well, that's not gonna work too well because you need to go underneath. But let's say, let's say 75 was better. There you go, 75, so now it's a different angle. Uh, or if you didn't want to put it down that far, you want to put it down 4.5 or something, you'll see it shrink down. So you could make adjustments like that, but I think as is, I kind of look at the looks of it. So I think it's a good, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, there's the Moai fridge magnet, which I think also will be a big hit at the homeschool conference. It's a really, it's a good look. I need to print out some different colors, but so far I like it. And if you print it out, uh, be sure to post a makeup on printables because I always like to see those, see some other ideas or some other colors. Or, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done a video on this yet, but there's a, I know I'm going to say it wrong because I don't have it open right now, but in the Prusa Slicer, there's a new setting where you can make things fuzzy. So I guess it changes the outer edge a little bit and prints a little different. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but I really want to. And maybe I can make a, well, if I make a fuzzy, if I make this, you know, fuzzy, Will it look more stone-like and rough? I don't know, but that's something I want to try out. Or heck, you know, you could do what the guy did. Originally, he spray painted it. Uh, so you can get some of this stone kind of spray paint, spray paint, and that might be the best thing to do. Print this out, spray paint it, and it, it may look great. I don't know. Uh, with that, let's wrap this up. Uh, just let, with a reminder that 3D printing is an adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge and take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others and you can make amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. Okay, one more Moai 3D print, then I think I'll move on. I'm currently printing a giant Moai statue on my i3 MK3, about as large as it can go. I wanna see how many pennies I can stick into it and see if it makes a good doorstop. I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks, but we'll see.